We are at Fully Charged Live in Sydney, Australia. If you're a clean tech fan or an electric car fan, then well, this is basically Mecca. And what I think might just be the star of the show today is none other than this, the MG4. And as the doors opened and thousands of visitors flooded the Sydney event, both the MG4s on display were officially unveiled by none other than service droid Robert Llewellyn. <laughs> And I got the chance to get up close and personal with this electric beast to talk options before it hits the New Zealand market. So this is the MG4, we've been waiting for it. I can't tell you the price and the range yet because I don't know the price. Range, however, I've got some good news. This one is gonna come in two battery pack sizes. We have 51 kilowatts, which will give you 350 kilometers per charge maximum, or 64 kilowatts and that's going to give you up to 450 k's per charge but there's a lot more going on this thing will actually charge fast as well the large battery version will charge at apparently 135 kilowatts which is not bad for a bargain price vehicle well if i can figure out the price before the video goes live i'm going to put it in the box in the corner of the screen if not then you have to wait and see but we will find out this vehicle is going to hit the new zealand market sometime likely in the second half of this year so stay tuned with its range and price of around 55 grand after the rebate this mg4 could be a game changer in aotearoa the land of the long line of electric cars it looks great actually it looks excellent in person as you'll see soon enough and it's also quick and likely to be a lot of fun with 150 kilowatts at its rear wheels and it's going to be loaded with features plus it has a dual motor version coming too with a 0 to 100 time of 3.8 seconds. I'll get my hands on one in New Zealand soon enough so press the subscribe button as not to miss that. Another just revealed car at the event though was the MG ZS EV Long Range, now available in the New Zealand market. It's the same updated MG ZS EV that I've already reviewed in detail so check that video out, but this one has a 72 kilowatt hour battery pack giving it 440 k's per charge and and after the rebate, Kiwis can buy one right now for 56 grand. But this first Southern Hemisphere fully charged, likely to be a yearly event now, had much more on display, including my personal favourites, electric car conversions in all shapes and sizes. One other thing that I really love is electric car conversions, and they have heaps of conversions all dotted around the uh, info centre here. What I want to show you is this one. It's a boring old Mazda, right? But you pop the hood, come have a look underneath. Pop the hood we've got a 150 volt system with Zilla controllers built in. You don't see many of those anymore. But wait, there's more. Come check this one out. Is it DC or AC? DC. DC system, but we're using lithium batteries. Oh, the Zilla 1K. Gosh, I remember when those came out. They were amazing machines. Well, a thousand amps maximum, isn't it? Fantastic. It's 27 kilowatt hours. 27 kilowatt hours and split into how many in the front and back? The 36 in the back, um, under the... Uh under here in the battery box and nine in the front. And that's that's a big battery for a normal size sedan. What sort of range are you getting out of this? Um, on the highway 160, uh, around town about 110. That's because this is a, uh, a DC series motor. It doesn't do regenerative braking. Gotcha. So this is more like a normal car that has a better range on the highway than in the city. Whereas um, modern production EVs, they have AC motors and controllers. They support regen and give you better uh, range in the uh, in the city than on the highway. As well as home-built EV conversions of all different shapes and sizes, there were a number of professionally converted vehicles on display as well as electric racing vehicles attracting a fair amount of attention. Now, if this were a New Zealand event, there'd no doubt be a lot more traditional car makers showcasing their electric offerings, but this being Australia, they're a little bit behind us in that respect, to the point where if you want to see the latest electric cars on offer, you have to go to private owners in the car park. Something different is outside. There's also some electric cars on display in the parking lot. I didn't even know about this. It is Sydney. It's about 26 degrees already and it's going to get hotter. But check out some of the machines we've got on display. Obviously we've got the Tesla Model 3, my second favourite car of all time. We've got the Model Y, we've got the Kona, we've got more Konas, Model Y. That's the XC40, that looks like the P6, that is the Nissan Leaf, and of course the i3. There were also non-stop panel discussions the entire weekend and they seem to have run out of quality guests because they even asked me to take part in one discussing my favourite electric cars. The Ionic 5, yeah, nice. everything about it, just it, the angles, it looks like Lara Croft did back in 1997. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pointy. 
Electric bikes also deserve a mention as there were a number of two-wheeled EVs on offer in all performance categories alongside all manner of home and business charging options which included small-scale DC charging systems and home solar solutions too. And one little cherry on the top was the new Cupra Born, or is it Cupra? An electric car from Volkswagen Group coming to New Zealand in about six months from now. It's essentially a sexier ID3, so hit the subscribe button for that as I'm really looking forward to putting it through its paces on Kiwi roads. But all in all, Sydney's first annual fully charged live event had enough content to satisfy most EV enthusiasts, with a surprising number of Kiwis on site, including me flying the flag for Ecotricity, our country's own climate positive electricity provider. That means if you join up you're not only getting competitively priced power but you're actually turning back the clock on climate change and that is a big deal. And that is the end of Fully Charged Live here in Sydney, Australia. This has turned out to be a much bigger event than I thought it was going to be. Everything from electric car conversions on display to unveiling of new models like the MG4. Quite looking forward to seeing that in New Zealand in a few months. Hopefully Fully Charged Live is going to come back to Sydney very soon because I'd recommend checking it out if you're a car fan or an electric car fan or even just a clean tech fan, you'll get something out of this event, I guarantee it.